One of the worst feelings in the world is when your boss or someone above you in the corporation or business that you work for doesn't respect you and they treat you poorly because you know in the real world they're not going to treat you that way right it's positional power they know you have to be nice to them and act like the stuff they do is cool because they can inevitably determine if you get your bonus how much money you make if you get promoted i hate the dynamic and that's why people you know there's some guys who just love being at work because they're in that position of power and they know the minute they walk out of that building everyone treats them like the dope they are but while they're there everyone hey mr smith how are you today and people see him outside people don't even pay him any mind they love that i hate that i hate people that use positional power but maybe you're down maybe you're behind in the count and there's someone above you who doesn't respect you i'm going to put this quick hitting video out with two things you can immediately do to help reestablish that uh, respect from them and reestablish your status within the company. The first technique is a simple mental switch that I'm going to ask you to make. So stop treating the people above you in your company as if they're on a pedestal, as if they're so much higher than you, as if everything they say is so funny. Ha <laughs> ha, how was your weekend? I went mountain biking. Oh, that sounds so cool. Was that fun? It was nice out. Treat them as a peer, but as a respected peer. This is a line that you're gonna have to determine on your own. A lot of people don't know where it is. A lot of people, first of all, are super supplicative. Hey, how are you? But then when I tell people to treat them like a peer, a lot of times, you know, how do you treat your peers? I don't know, I know how I do, but you don't wanna show any disrespect, but you don't wanna show any ridiculously over supplication. Treat them like a friend of yours you would, like you would treat a friend that you respect. Because people subconsciously assess the way that you're talking to them. And when you're like, hey, how was your weekend? What you're saying to them, what you're saying directly to their subconscious is, God, you're so much higher than me. You're so much more important than me. I'm just a little dope down here. Don't pay me any mind. Even if they're a nice guy and they want to give you respect and pay you mind, their subconscious is fighting them the whole way. Their subconscious is like, don't even give this guy the time of day. He doesn't even respect himself. So in your mind, when you can think that you're communicating to a respected peer, that's going to be the frame that you want to come from. Now, one important to note, to, one thing to denote about this is that if you've been super supplicative, yo, hey, how's your weekend? Don't immediately come in on Monday and be like, yeah, how was your weekend? Did you have a good time? Slow it down. So if you're up here and this is rapport neutral where you want to get this is respected peer and you're up here, the dope who thinks everything he says is so funny, slowly work your way down so it won't be as big of a contrast because that contrast can sometimes be a difference. And by the way, when you're speaking to a respected peer, even if you say the right things, you have the right mindset, your tone has to be right. Your tonality has to command respect. How many people have you heard that when they talk, they just sound like they don't deserve respect, you know? They don't even believe in what they're saying. It's like, oh, get away from me. I don't care what you have to say. You need to sound like you believe it. You need to have a strong tone of voice. If this is something you're interested in learning, I'm literally just rolling out this week a brand new product. It's a vocal power boot camp where I'm gonna personally walk you through for 15 days core lessons that's gonna get your voice to a super strong place. Then the 15 days after that, you're gonna have customized lessons gonna help reiterate that. So it's something I'm really excited about. If you wanna learn more about it, it should be out when this video's out. If it is, touch or click up here and I'll tell you more about it. Now the second thing is gonna be more of a practical idea that you can apply. And what it does, I'm gonna tell you what it does before I tell you what it is so it makes sense to you, is it shows that you really value your time and you're serious about productivity. This again speaks to the subconscious of the person you're dealing with. What you're gonna do is every time you meet with them, even if it's just for a 10, 15, 20 minute meeting, go in with an agenda. I suggest, I know nowadays it's getting a little bit outdated to do this, I even suggest printing out two copies or just email them 30 seconds before the meeting with the quick itinerary and just go through the things you want to talk about. It doesn't have to be super in debt. Let's say it's a 15 minute conversation. Boom. Hey, just wanted to jot down three ideas that I wanted to go over during the meeting. Boom, boom, boom. Three bullet points. Looking forward to talking to you soon. 
it shows that you put thought into this. It just completely changes their perspective of a lot of different things. Your work ethic, how serious you are about things, how organized you are, your conscientiousness. If basically, super easy thing to do. It's gonna take you 30 seconds to do if it's a longer meeting, a longer agenda, a few minutes. But the upside is massive. It costs you almost nothing and it makes them perceive you as a high performer, as someone who's very efficient, as someone who gets things done, and more importantly, someone who cares about their work. So many people come into meetings like, oh, what are we talking about today, boss? It's like, no, I know you have things you wanna talk about. Here's some things I wanna talk about. It just says all the right things. So when you combine those two things, number one, the right perspective, peer to peer, peer to respected peer, someone who's going somewhere, someone who's got their stuff together, they're conscientious, they're ambitious, they're getting things going. That's a really nice position. It's a sweet spot for someone to form a respectable opinion of you, for someone to look at you and begin to assign leadership qualities to you. So next time an, an open position comes up, yeah, you know that Baron, man, over the last six months, he's really been turning it up. I just feel like he's a new man. I think I'd like to consider him for this position simply by doing those two little things. So after watching that, do you have a question for me? Anything you'd like me to actually respond to myself? If you do, go to my Instagram, it's called Charisma Matrix, and just post your question underneath the most recent post. And then on my new podcast, it's called Social Secrets. You can get it on iTunes or anywhere else. I'm going to be answering in every podcast a couple of questions from my Instagram. So if you're interested in having me answer something specifically, just go post it over there and I'll put it in the hat as one that I may go over. Now, before I leave you, have you ever had someone talk over you in the workplace? You're just talking along and this jerk always comes in and talks over you. You know how to deal with it? I made a video specifically with how to deal with that problem. And if you're not 100% sure that you know how to deal with that and someone tries to bulldoze over you, I'd suggest you click here and watch it. I'll talk to you there.